Hello again folks, this is a rather smart looking and performing sort of Paris Dakar racer from the Rally Racer set, the very latest Rally Racer set, 10 models in one set and I'm quite impressed with this model even though there are a couple of things thrown in by slightly new variants of parts but overall this is a great model and it goes quite well. In the set review I concentrated on the new motor, that was obviously definitely new, but there were other parts that I weren't really too sure of. Yes, there were wheels with the different patterns and different tread on the tyres perhaps, but not really brand new parts. However, there were a couple of alterations to recent parts, shall I say. Let's have a look at some of them now. I've got no idea what you'd call this part, but these, they look like flags really, in a way. These parts here. Now this is the first time to my knowledge that I've seen them with three holes at this end. Normally they have two. Other parts that look new but are not, uh, although recent, these triangular plates here. They've got this recess here. Now that's fine if whatever you're fitting on top of the recess or indeed below the recess is level with it. If it stretches across it that can cause distortion which I'll show you later. But these on the whole have been around before except without this recess. Going around to the rear, as I said, the wheels and the tyres are perhaps different but not really brand new. These flat plates do seem to be a new part. And this sort of triangle with the nose cut off, or trunnion you might say, that, I think that's pretty new. As for issues or niggles in the build, well for a start those two words are a bit over the top really. But yet again in certain parts of the build we are seeing a lot of the construction as built up to that point shown in that stage when there's no need. Thus making the parts that you actually need to see small. And it wasn't too bad but in this case you got most of the chassis built and it regards the angle brackets or the position of them or the angle of them here. Now they are fitted level. I know that now, but one was shown at an angle, and the other one was shown level. Same with the front, except both of those were shown level, the angle brackets they held the front mud guards on. Both of those level where they're not. It's pretty obvious they're not, because when you put the wheels on, the mud guards get in the way if you leave them level. And they are right back as far as they will go, really. Now you might not be able to see this very easily because it's very awkward to video this now the model's built but if you go on the mechanozone.com forum you'll see some still images. But several of the parts, the plastic ones, have mouldings to hold the nuts. Now you might not think that's new and it's not. It's been around about three years now since the mechanoids come out. This one here has stressed a little as it's been tightened but got away with it. Behind the front axle though, which you can't see, just behind there there's a nut and that one didn't come near enough to the moulding at all to be gripped. Now the idea I suppose behind this moulding is it speeds up the builds. You don't need much spanner work or so much spanner work. Of course this wasn't an issue because I just used the spanner which you could get at all of these nuts just about to use the spanner but from a part that I'm guessing has been designed to speed up the builds by not having to use the spanner that is not very good but it is also only the first time I've had the issue. There's a couple of places where you get a slight bending of a part, slightly deformed, and it is very slightly, where you lay apart, which is normal, but I'll just point them out. Anywhere you lay apart, unless it's evened up at the other end. Here, for example, you've got a narrow strip underneath, a narrow strip on top, but nothing at this end, so there's a slight pull in there. Another one is here, with these angle brackets across this new recess. There's a little bit of a gap, whilst it crosses that recess so it pulls it down a bit so you might find it a little bit dished when you take that apart. Now this is the worst bit about the build. Having said that so far it doesn't seem to have proved to be much of an issue and that is fixing the wheels to the rear axle. Oddly these days they have used these little triangular shaped push on, I don't know what you call them, clips? Now they've been around for years and they do grip better generally than the rubber grommets, certainly better than the small ones. But as you can see the axle is, well, let's be kind, let's say it's only just long enough. To do it and fit it evenly you have to use the Allen driver that you get with the set and push it in slightly. Even if you took both sides. In use so far it hasn't come off but you're not getting the full potential of that little clip because it's not covering the whole axle. It's a little ugly as well as it's sticking out a bit. Dare I say it, for neatness the little rubber grommet would have probably been better and the little rubber grommet wouldn't have been near the end of the axle so it may prove to be a better fit and fix for this. 
Conversely, the front axle is too long. Now, I suppose you could adjust the spacers once you've got a few spare parts, but of course, we're looking at this from the set build, not what you can do it with extra parts, or indeed taking away parts. Ideally, I suppose, wouldn't perhaps have a, such a good look to the model, because it'll look a bit narrow, the wheels would. You've only got to shorten the rear axle spacers slightly, and stick out the ones on the front slightly. It doesn't look very good on the front, but it does the job fine. The rear, it may fall apart in use, although it hasn't yet, not run it that much, because of lack of space really. The rear, one of the wheels did come off when I was carrying it home, which was in a plastic bag, you know, banging around, so I ain't going to knock it for that. I think you'll agree that this model is quite a good looking model from most angles. If I was picky I'd have had a metal flexible plate for the roof. This one you might be able to see it's slightly curved or dished. I think the metal one would have been better and indeed they have done that. For example in the recent excavator set they've, they've done that, they've put a metal roof in there. That said it has a really good feature which is not always the case and that is changing the batteries. You can do this one without taking the model apart. Just undo the bolt there, lift it up and it'll fall out, change the batteries. So that's something that I have seen that is not the case. It may not be the case for all the models in this set. In the set review I said I was going to build the three wheeler. The trouble was the instructions were not available. I have covered that in another video but this is a rare model that didn't look that good on the box but looks very good in the flesh. And just to prove it works, there you go. I don't have the room to video it going along the floor. I'm afraid. The main reason is there's so much mechano about. <laughs> That's about all I can do folks. Don't worry about the clicking of the gears. That's just me holding it and it taking off. But as you can see, it's fairly rapid and this is just over about two feet of space. So you can see there it goes well. Build time was about one and a half hours and that's it for this one folks, we'll see you again soon.